said 26 degrees. So believe me, uh, I think I've already won. It's already been there, but gone back down again. I think it'll go back up again, uh, just to uh, remind Barbara, because her prediction today, 25 degrees. It's there. Uh, Thursday, May the 5th. And, well, let me do this. Galaxy. Galaxy. That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. So, so happy to have everybody joining me this morning. Uh, it seems like you're a mile away, Barbara. You all right there? I'm great. Yeah, it just feels a long way away. Where are you? Hello. Yeah, I knew you were in there. I could see you in there too. Thank you for joining us. Uh, now, today, we're going all the way over to the UK to catch up with good friends of ours. Of course, we're talking about neon fields and ed barrett's joining us believe me look <laughs> we got the gear we do flying the flag yeah <laughs> go and check these guys out you're gonna love them you really really are uh, but first of all let me tell you how very happy and very proud we are to be in association with rise up tv big record and also sony music the orchard believe me check those guys out as well uh, and tim you know, does a great job as a host of the Don Pierce Show. He really does. Got to say hi to Mark, Linda, Pamela, the whole crew over there. You do a splendid job, and we appreciate you. We really do. In the meantime, check this out. Another indie artist and you brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV. The record is Sony Music to watch it. Tell you what, we got to kick it off literally with rituals, we really do. Most requested Neon Fields track to date, it really is. Check it out. So that gives us a couple of minutes ahead. Um, now, i got to be honest with you. The version that we're going to play today of yours, eh, we've kind of messed with it. <laughs> what with the uh, Saber Prayer is this? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you mean um, as in we've we've messed up as to which song to play? No, no, we've messed with oh, Saber can... Prayer. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> well, as in, as in uh, you see, let me please elaborate. Let me explain this. Ed, believe me, you're going to love it actually. Um, you see, I've got some very, very eager and excitable young men in the production who like to take music and put intros on them. Right. They found your voiceovers. Okay. Okay. Right. And what they've done is they've adapted your voiceover to the start of Save a Prayer. So the, um, the little intro snippets that I did uh, when I first sent you tracks over... Mm -hmm. They've remixed those and put them over the internet. Yeah, well, they, nice. they've taken a couple of those and chopped a little from here and a little from there and thrown in an ID stinger as well. And, well, we've kind of hashed it up, but it sounds bloody well. <laughs> it really does work. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I, I can't wait for us to release it. It sounds like it's going to be a hit. So, uh, no. <laughs> I'll, I'll get Barbara yeah. to email it to you. It's a souvenir, bro. You can keep it. <laughs> okay. Oh, but very kind. No, no, I mean, that sounds uh, hilarious. I we we played the hell out of it because it introduced you and the band, if you know what I mean. And it also says yeah. if you like what we have, you know, check us out afterwards. Stuff like that on there as well. So we're giving you a free plug as much as possible nice. so that... When the DJs aren't yabbering all the time like they do, you know what DJs are like, you can't shut the bloody things up. Um, we put those in so that people are informed of what be. the music is and who the artist is, you know what I mean? Yeah, nice, nice. So uh, I'll make sure Barbara gives you a copy of that as well. Um, <laughs> yeah. But believe me, uh, the boys in there, they're hard case. They like to have fun with people's music, you know what I mean? Yeah, why not? Why not? No, it's good. It's good. I look forward to hearing it. I'm excited to uh, to see what they've done. <laughs> Probably. 
no, nobody likes the sound of their own voice, so I'll probably hate it and have my uh, head in my hands. But um, <laughs> I, I look, I look forward to it from a creative point of view to see see what they uh, what they do. Fair enough, fair but, enough. Um, yeah, believe me, bro. They, um, oh, the cheeky little buggers. I can tell you that they, they take music and absolutely screw with it sometimes. And it's my fault because I introduced them to inversion they, with uh, music. Check out the grant. A couple of years ago, because um, I used um, to I used to do crazy. mashups and stuff like that, and these he does. young fellas <laughs> they picked up on it and went, "Hey, listen, we can do that." So I'm showing them <laughs> a few finer points. Now they're starting to get a little eager. Yeah. Nice, cause the mischief. I like it. Wow, well, it, it's all about promoting neon fields. To be honest with you, Ed. Yeah, well, I mean, you guys. Nice you know, you fly the flag for us uh, amazingly. We really appreciate it, all the plays and you know, wearing the T-shirt as well. I mean, Ed, I, I've got to be honest was, with you. The last interview we did has been the longest interview we've ever done recorded, literally, in history. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> Right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, and today, unfortunately, Pierce and Luke aren't going to be joining us. But yes, the man himself, Ed Barrett, is here from the band. Yes, Neon Fields. Do I give it away? Do I? Do I? Do I? Go and check it out. Go on, go on, go on. I dare you. Double dare you. Go on. Now, for everybody that's going to be watching this a little later on, because I've got to welcome everybody along. Nice to have you with us. Going to check it out a little later on over there on YouTube. Don't forget, you know what to do, right? No, you do. You you really do. Sub, thumb, bell. Bingo. At uh, Y bell. Notifications when we have important interviews and pretty important guests, especially from all around the world today, being in UK. And, of course, get epileptic with that thummy thing. You know what I'm talking about. Go on. You know, not only like it, get blasé. Go for it. Get bougie with it. Go on, I dare you. And sub, come on, I dare you. Double, double, double dare you to become a member of the Galaxy family. Go on. And, and we welcome everybody, everybody that joins us. We really, really do. Such a pleasure to be able to do these for everybody around the world and especially for the artists themselves. Today I'm excited because Ed's back. He really, really is. <laughs> and uh, you know something? In history... We have never done a longer interview than the last time we did it with Neon Fields. Welcome back, bro. Nice to see you. <laughs> Good morning to you. I feel like we're um, we're being held accountable for that long interview. When really, Grant, I think I think you know we were quite quiet and we just let you talk. <laughs> uh, I, I, I think part of it is that because um, you played seven of our tracks very kindly, which which was great you know that, that was every single track we'd released to date and we write quite long songs so straight away i think um seven of our tracks took up 40 minutes and then we obviously talked around each one but i think uh, we've got this reputation for being chatterboxes when like you know I mean, it's just completely unfounded no uh, no yeah, no yeah. no not at all not at all believe me uh, no, no, I, I think it is like totally the valid. starting the interview like that and then um <laughs> four hours time we'll uh, we'll still be chatting and you'll be trying to get me uh, get me off <laughs> <laughs> well i i gotta absolutely right from the start ed i gotta say thank you for staying up so late at night uh even though barbara says hey listen they're you know musicians they're used to staying up not so much these days. Don't forget, we've had a hyenas in there with a bit of omicron thing and Delta and uh, BA4. Or... It's, it's way past my bedtime, Grant. I should, <laughs> you know, I should have been in bed, in bed four hours ago. No, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm 
I tend to be a night owl with uh, well and, and an early riser. I mean, frankly, I, I, I don't get enough sleep. But um, you know, when I'm doing the music, I uh, kind of find time whenever I can. So uh, often that's late at night as well. But you um, know, but, so I, I can relate. Never to feels that. like a chore. I, I can relate to that, Ed. Literally, I, I usually get to work about eleven thirty at night, and I'm still here eight nine o'clock at night. Some nights, you know, we have. Uh, a lot of com computers and a lot of those computers have, well, I think they have personalities. They all decide that they're going to be a, at the same time sometimes. And, well, guess who's stuck here minding the ship? It's usually me. So, uh, believe me, <laughs> I, I, I like to work at night. Nobody around. Get a lot more done that way. Jan Paulson is joining us. Nice to have you on board, Jan. It really, really is. Nice to see you again. Uh, now... I got an issue with your prime minister, Ed. Oh, I think. <laughs> oh, let's not go into that. Well, yeah. I do, I do, my friend. Yeah. I, I need to get this out, and I need to get it out to at least one person in the UK that might be able to understand this. Uh, believe me, dude was having parties, right? So I ring him up. I say, "Hey, dude, why aren't you inviting me to his party?" You know what he said to me, bro? Let me tell you. I think it is sensible. To wait just a little longer. Just a little longer. Just. Yeah, you didn't want me to come. Yeah, I didn't get an invite either. Yeah. At least, I don't think I did. But anyway, it's but, just rude. You know, I mean, if, if he was going to have a big a big party, he should have just invited a lot of us and we could have all had a street party as well. And yeah. Yeah, anyway. absolutely. You know, I'm... I'm Going to tell him that he needs a haircut the next time I see him. Stop sticking his tongue in the light socket to get that. <laughs> Barbara asked me the other day, how does he do that? And I went, tongue in light socket. Does it? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, or, or, or maybe before um, he just stands in a wind tunnel. Maybe he's got a wind tunnel installed somewhere that he just... Uh... Anyway. Isn't, yeah. that, isn't that the Speaker of the House? Well, I mean, <laughs> the wind tunnel and stuff. Yeah, indeed, indeed. <laughs> There you go. Uh, now, Ed, believe me, I am absolutely love, love, loving this next track. And we're going to be releasing it live to the world for the first time. I've got to let you know, we actually have been playing it quite a bit. And, well, uh, production have had a little play with it as well, to be honest with you. But we played the version without the intro on it, just played it. And we've had people from everywhere going, that's not Duran Duran, but that's not bad. Who is it? When is it? Re when are we going to be doing the release? When are we doing the interview? When are you going to give us more information? So, Ed, uh, tell me about Save a Prayer. Well, I mean, um, you know, we were keen to do a cover, uh, and, and we've been kind of giving it a lot of thought and... and um, because you want to you want to do a cover that's going to be interesting, uh, you know, our own spin on a on a well known track, and um, yeah, it was actually featured um, on a on a program that um, Piers was watching and uh, on Netflix, and um, the song came on, and he thought, oh yeah, that that's a real winner. Um, and then uh, also though, it, it transpired that this year is the 40th anniversary of its. Um, original release, as, as you probably know, and um, so it was released in, in, in August '82, and um, and in fact the the vocals were uh, and, and a lot of the recording was done earlier in. So I was probably recording the vocals for that track 40 years exactly later than than the original was done, which I thought was pretty cool. So it's kind of um you know it, it's commemorating. That release was part of it, but also, you know, we felt like we could do our own version um, and, and uh, you know, be, be kind of sympathetic to the original, uh, you know, do it justice, I guess is what I mean. And, and certainly we've we've had hardcore Duran Duran fans, you know, say to us, I've been a fan of them you know, since, since the beginning and, uh, you know, really like your version and, um, you know, so it's nice to know we've not upset the Duran Duran fans and, and, uh, and, and, you know, brought out something that has spoiled the song for them. You know, it's good that we've added something to it. So. i got to let you know, Ed, uh, 1,701 requests wanting not only more information for us to play it more often. And believe me, I've been playing it quite a bit in the breakfast show 
uh, just over the last couple of days production eventually added their little touch to it. So let's release it officially. Here is joining us from Neon Fields coming out of the UK is, well, I think Simon Le Bon would be very, very happy with this from Duran Duran. Save a prayer, our version. Hey everyone, this is Ed from the band Neon Field. If you like what you hear, please leave us a message after the track. Galaxy FM. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. I like it. Nice. That's well, great. I'll get Barbara to send you a copy of it. <laughs> Believe me. Yeah, Sou no, souvenir. You guys, <laughs> souvenir. you guys are so good to us. It's uh, it's it's always um it's obviously a real pleasure to to speak to you guys and and, and to be invited on is is a joy. But um you know you've given us so much love in terms of the uh, the amount of radio play you've given us and stuff. We really appreciate it a lot. So thank you. It's um. It's, it's it, it, it is an absolute pleasure, believe me bro, we love good music and of course we get behind our artists, you're one of the family bro, we've got to get behind you and you keep turning oh, out yeah. such good stuff, it would be remiss of us not to play it, you know what I mean? Well speaking of being remiss, I mean, it, it, I'm sure I sent you shelter, but maybe I didn't and um, it's, it's, it's bad that I didn't, if I didn't, because because that, that one comes out on Friday. So okay, um, right. day after tomorrow, that one's out. Well, I suppose it's tomorrow for you guys. It is. Um, and, uh, I'll yeah, tell you what, so that, that's... whip it through to Barbara, and we'll, we'll start playing it and get Barbara to set another date for you to come and have another talk about it. What do you reckon? Yeah, I mean, that'd be great. I think, um, <clears throat> yeah, I will check that I didn't, I'm sure I... Yeah, no, uh, we, anyway. we don't have it in the system, unfortunately. Well, not that yeah, I can no. see anyway, so. Which is a shame, because I yeah, would have no, liked to have talked about it. Absolutely. Absolutely. But it just means that I'm going to have you up for another late night. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fine, because there's quite a lot to talk about with that track. Sure. Um, and, and, um, but anyway. Well, let, let's not make it too long between drinks, if you know what I mean, but. Uh, it might give you another excuse to have another haircut or something. What do you reckon? Well, yeah, you know, yeah. it's always needed, so. <laughs> <laughs> People keep warning me of those things as well. Yes, this is it. Mm. Barbara wants to trim my beard. Just a little bit. Barbara's so going to get the, get the shears on you, is she? Yeah. Well, here's the thought. D you did I ask you if you were a vegan the last time I spoke to you? Yes. You didn't. I, no. I didn't. Well, you know, I'm you're, sure you're you lucky. Actually, no. Maybe you did. I yeah. think I did. Maybe actually, you yeah. asked us all, and I think we all answered no. Yeah, yeah. It was about yeah. the vegan sausage thing, right? Yeah. That's okay. Right. Well, yeah. tell tell me something. When you have a barbecue and you throw the steak on the barbecue and you get it all, you know, when yeah. your mouth starts watering because it tastes good, right? You, you mm. know that sensation, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Do yeah. vegans go through the same thing when they mow the lawn? <laughs> Quite possibly. It's a thought. <laughs> it's a thought. And, and uh, don't don't worry, bro. I'll let you keep every joke. Yeah, I mean, well, I've, I've got I've got a pen actually, and I'm currently writing all of this material down. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan Laird is watching. Nice to have you on board, Ryan. Hold on, let me do that. Nice to have you on board, Ryan. It really, really is. Uh, yeah, it was just a question, really. <laughs> it's something that I dream up at night. How can I pick on a vegan? <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. <laughs> Thank 
That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM, Neon Fields, let me run down through this, of course Ed Barrett being vocals, uh, and I think lead guitar at the same time, uh, Luke Ross, drums, and Pierce Wood, keyboards and guitar as well, uh, absolute stunning band, it really really is, and we can't wait to get them here in New Zealand, borders are opening up these days, so things are looking more and more progressive, anything is, yeah, a little worried about Luke being a carrier of anything that might be uh, besides a girl. You know what I mean? <laughs> or a guitar or a set of <laughs> drum kits. Uh, but we do want to consider having Neon Fields here in New Zealand. And uh, I think they'll get on very, very well with we'll it management, our uh, booking team and everything like that. Uh, of course, I've got to let you know, uh, our guy that we do our booking through with Barbara and um, do it management, he's also English, a former Englishman. He married a Kiwi and became a New Zealander. And... Uh, well, you never know, you might be able to talk the same language. Well, yeah, I mean, that's it. <laughs> we can give it a go without you needing to interpret, you mean, Grant? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because you're obviously, you're obviously bilingual with being able to speak um, Kiwi and, uh, and English. <laughs> hold, hold on a minute, I better just explain that to uh, my producer because she's going, by what? <laughs> no, bilingual, it's a language thing, not anything, um, mm. <laughs> She's looking at me sideways going, yeah, I know. <laughs> well, I've, I've heard this about you, that you're a cunning linguist, aren't you? That's, that's totally, all I know. Totally, 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 and then please, let, let's keep it above the... Uh, belt line because I, I can give you some real pearls, I really can, and I don't want to do that to them. Well, I've got the pen, so just keep them coming. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Uh, but believe me, I, I really don't want to do that to our audio audience. Uh, the people I, I call the noise, and, and let me explain that one to you. Why, why do I call you guys the noise? Because it grows. It is just getting loud. I love the noise, I really do. The Galaxy Army, <laughs> thank you for joining us. Uh, Terry Van Cannon is joining us. It was just a question. Too funny, Grant? Yeah, it was just a question. I'm sorry, it was. Uh, having said that, and I've got to let you know, uh, Ed, Terry Van Cannon is an absolute master on the slide still. He really, really knows his stuff. He's been doing it for many, many years, and he's also a very good friend to Galaxy. He really is. Uh, Ed, I take it very, very shortly we're going to be seeing you again releasing another song. It should have been released this Friday. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like I've, I've just um, dropped the ball and not sent it. But I will, I will check uh, what's happened there. But essentially, um, we're already, uh, the song has been on our website and selling on our website with all the money going to um, charity, uh, the Disaster Emergency Committee. So that it's going to support Ukraine. Um, I think I saw this on Facebook. Yeah, so so I I thought we'd be chatting about this track a bit, and, and um, so I mean people people can uh, already hear the track and and purchase it with all all, all the money going to the DEC um, from our website at the moment. Yeah, anyway, you, um, you know it, uh, and uh, this is really really weird because earlier on this morning. Uh, when I was having a, a pre-show meeting with my uh, producers and uh, directors and, uh, of course, Barbara and that, uh, of course, my producer says to me, have you seen this? This is from Neon Fields. I went, no, I haven't. Uh, and she goes, I think it's brand new. It's to do with the Ukraine and stuff like that. That's what stood out when you said that. And at the same time, uh, I did say to her, no, we don't have it. Obviously, if Barbara hasn't received it and production haven't received it, we're not doing the interview on that. She says, well, uh, we should be looking into it. So uh, we are aware of the track. Now, to be very honest with you, please, please, Ed, will you please send it through to us? Let's do this again. What do you reckon? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Cool. And uh, I, I want you to do me a favour too. Next time you catch up with Pierce and with Luke, give them a poke in the eye for me, won't you? Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, I, I do that anyway when I see them, but I'll make sure that I, uh, I say it's from you this time around, so no problem at all. Brilliant. <laughs> absolutely brilliant. And uh, guys, uh, well, i, I got to let you know, 
we do want you to come to New Zealand. We do want you to play in front of New Zealand audiences. And we do want the borders opened up really soon so we can make it happen. Will you consider that? We'd love it. We'd absolutely love it. We'd be there straight away. Well, I mean, obviously it's a long off flight, but we would be there as soon as we could. Yeah, it's better that way than swimming. Believe me, I'll try. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> I, I decided I was going to go and swim my way to Australia one day. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that didn't work out too well. You're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. Got to say how proud we are to be in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record and Sony Music. So much so, check this out. Another Indie Artist interview brought to you by Galaxy 107 FM in association with Rise Up TV, Big Record. Sony Music Watcher.